Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God, and let us adore him. As I'm sure you're all well aware, we're currently celebrating Remembrance Week. Remembrance Day, today, is a day to remember the members of the armed forces who have died in the line of duty over the years. Through parades, services and silences, we remember those who were lost. We can also use this time to remember our loved ones that are no longer with us. We can also use this time to remember our loved ones that are no longer with us. When we lose a loved one, whilst hard, we know that we can take comfort knowing that they're at peace in God's kingdom. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Thessalonians. We are no more important than those who came before us. And we know that those who we have lost will join us again. Now, I would like to offer a moment for us all to reflect and to remember those who we have lost and those who were lost protecting our way of life. Now, I would like to take a moment to remember one person in particular, John Jenkins. He bravely defended our country during World War II, and he continued to serve the city of Portsmouth well into his late 90s as a stalwart pillar of the community. Now, he once said, I was a small part in a very big machine. You never forget your comrades, because we are all in this together. This quote can relate to all of us, especially in the tough times that we've experienced in the last year or so. We're all in this together, and when we come together, we form parts of a larger machine to execute God's plan. Now, let us keep all of our loved ones in our hearts going forward. Let us pray. Lord, let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war and the family of these people that were affected and that each one be remembered and known to God. May God give peace. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.